All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, blah, blah, blah. I'm Coach Sheldon Harrison, Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, uh, you know, I looked at this at Bloody Elbow, and also shout out to my boy Ed Harris the III. Um, you know, this whole thing, you know, Chris is, is thinking of just, you know, after her last two fights are fulfilled on a UFC contract, she's actually thinking of just, you know, stopping, you know, MMA and, and doing boxing, which, you know, I, I'm going to have a pretty big issue with that. Uh, number one, you know, this is the division that, you know, we've been screaming about, that they need to get this division made. And if Chris is just up and leave and don't renew a contract, well, that's a problem. Uh, Chris, they need to get to some agreement to where, you know, she can fight in the cage and fight, you know, in a boxing ring. They're going to have to come with some type of contract that's going to allow her to do that. Um, if not, it's going to look kind of shady to me, okay? And, you know, I call everything out. I call every single solitary thing out, and, and I'm going to call this out, okay? Now, do I think she's ducking anybody in division? No. I mean, who, who do you think they're going to put in that division that she's going to duck? Nobody. I think Chris is purely doing it for the money. And, guys, I'm not one of these people that I co-sign everything my favorite fighter do. I can't do it. And I ain't finna co-sign this. If she don't renew and, you know, want to get back in the cage and, you know, do what she got to do and, and rightfully defend that title, you know, because by the time they get the division, you know, marinating and going, her two fights will be up on her contract. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing, man. Um, you know, and I don't know, because Chris was speaking, you know, as if, like, she might do this, you know. And I don't think she's a thousand percent sure that this is the way that it's going to come down to. But, you know, I don't want it to come to that, you know. I, I would admit, you know, now, I can understand if the UFC had not even planned on getting a 145-pound division made. I don't know. See, I can see if they never tried to do that. Then I wouldn't have no problems with her just leaving and just vacating the belt because, you know, they, they wouldn't get a division made anyway. But it looks to me like the UFC, they're trying to do the right thing to get this division made, okay? And, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is something that Chris is going to try to use to maybe get a better deal on her contract. I don't know. And, you know, maybe. Maybe she'll probably get a better deal. Maybe they're going to negotiate a much better deal for her to keep her around. But I think these three fight contracts, I think, to me, it, it, it's a farce. I think they should have helped. I think they should have got her, you know, with more than three fights if they would have allowed it. But, uh, yeah, man, this, this is going to suck, for real. And, uh, you know, I'm not sitting here saying that, you know, what Chris need to do this and need to do that. But uh, I am going to be a little pissed off because this is why I've been making all these dang on videos, okay? This is why I've been making all these videos. This is why I've been, you know, putting in work and really, you know, really going all out is to see this 145-pound division made. And, you know, a lot of us on this channel, we co-sign Chris Cyborg. I know I do. Okay, and, I, and I, I don't think I won't be a fan. I'll just be a little irritated that, you know, we put all these videos out and, okay, well, now you're going to leave after your two fights? When a division will finally be getting, you know, it'll be getting marinated? Nah. They need to come to some arrangement. They need to come to some arrangement where Chris can box and Chris can do MMA, and that's the solution, okay? Because, you know, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of fans of Cyborg that, you know, we want to see her defend the belt against some of the best 145 pounders. I done put a lot of time and effort into, you know, giving the information out, you know, who the 145 pounders are. Because really and honestly, 145 pounders are people that people just don't look for. Okay, people don't look for them. And there are a lot of them out there. There are a lot of skilled ones out there, but ain't nobody looking for it. So you got channels like myself that we're actually doing, like, very vivid breakdowns and, and explaining to everybody how this 145 pound division can come to fruition and now it looks like it's about to come to fruition and it looks like everything is, is a go and it's like chris is going to be a no if she don't renew that contract so you know we'll be waiting we'll be waiting okay and you know i think what two fights that may she may have to renew her contract in 2019 well that's when she want to fight cecilia bracket so i don't know but i tell you I, i'm gonna be irritated and be pissed off and yes, I, I'm, I'm going to give that work. I'm going to put that fire out there. I'm a cyborg fan, but I'm going to put that fire out there. I'm going to put that heat. If this is the direction it go, that heat coming, okay? That, that work going to be coming. Now, I'm happy for the monetary things. I'm happy for the monetary value that Chris is going to be able to get. Because now people saying, well, Chris don't deserve to fight. Well, Chris done put her time and her dues into martial arts, period. And last time I checked, boxing is a martial art, Okay. You know, and I'm sure that if Chris fights Cecilia, it's not going to be for any belts. So, nah, I'm not trying to hear that she got a wait in line. What? What, what, what you mean she got a wait in line? No. They want to fight each other. They're trying to bring attention to the sport of women's boxing. There's no attention to it. 
And it's a good thing for women's boxing. I mean, look, you got a bunch of women boxers that's sitting out there, and don't nobody know who they are, man. You know, these people, when you try to reach out to them, and I done tried to interview a few women's boxers, man, and it's like you get it, the managers are kind of like, well, you know, you got to do this, you got to do this, which, fine, I don't mind doing, going through every loophole that I got to go through to get the interview, but, you know, I, you know, I was trying to interview one fighter, and, and nobody know this fighter, but I kept getting a runaround between the promoter and the fighter, and I'm like, and I told her, I said, look, I said, do you want to interview, yes or no? I mean, I mean, just tell me that now. Tell me no so I can go spend my time, because I told her I'm tired of talking to you, and I'm tired of talking to your manager about what? Because y'all keep sending me back and forth to each other. I mean, what, do y'all not discuss interviews? Do y'all not talk? Like, I, I, I started getting heated. And, and, I, and I gave it to her. But, you know, a lot of these women's boxers, they're not putting themselves out there. They're not doing it. And now I'm looking at it. No, they're not. So, okay, what can be done? Okay, let her fight the biggest MMA star on the planet in Chris Cyborg. See, I think, uh, you know, when uh, Cecilia Brackett uh, fought Kylie Reese, I thought, you know, they're on the right track. You know, they got on HBO, they fought. Okay, now, put Cecilia Brackett in there with the biggest female MMA star right now on the planet right now, Chris Cyborg. Do you not know how much how much attention that's going to draw to women's boxing? If I'm a women's boxer, I, I, I'd be happy about this. It's drawing attention to my sport where people don't even watch women's boxing. But now, you know, I mean, guys like me, I watch women's boxing. I watch it. But, you know, the casuals don't watch it, man. We're watching the dudes fight. So that's what it is. This fight can be huge, and it's going to bring a lot of attention to women's boxing. And it's not going to be a fight. It's not like Chris Cyborg don't know how to fight. And it's not like Chris is not a, an, a, a legitimate opponent for Cecilia Brackett. Of course she is. Of course she is. But this whole narrative that, you know, where Chris don't deserve to fight, yes, she do. Sure she do. She a female. And, you know, Chris, I mean, look, they worked hard. Her, fighters like her, you know, fighters like, you know, uh, Sarah, um, fighters like her and Sarah Kaufman and Rousey. And I'll put Rousey in that mix. I'm not going to talk bad because they, they, they did. They did a lot to help get the sport out, okay? You even got Bojangelcheck. You got Claudia Gadelia. Okay, you got all these fighters, man, that was working their butt off, man. I'm talking about fighting in these garbage organizations. Okay, they're doing all the stuff to get women's MMA out there. You, you, I mean, you don't think that Chris Cyborg, like, she got the solution. She know how to actually help promote the sport of women's boxing. You know if she in the sport of boxing, Chris is a draw. I guarantee you that fight. If they fight, I bet you they do more than 500 pay-per-view buys. Guaranteed. Chris Cyborg versus Cecilia Brackett is a pay-per-view fight. And Chris Cyborg already know what it is. They know how much money involved in fighting Cecilia. Cecilia know. They're not stupid. You think Cecilia going to take somebody, you know, that they'll be on the undercard of somebody who deserve a title shot, or are they going to go and try to get those 500,000 pay-per-view buys on somebody's card? I mean, do, do you think that... I mean, come on. What do you think Cecilia Brackett is going to do? I mean, it, it, it's, it's a no-brainer, man. And two, I'm not one of those people, hey, you know, it's about the money. I'm not about that. I don't like the mixed money, and I'm not an accountant. But I can see that this is going to help the sport of women's boxing more than anything. It's going to help. But, you know, if Chris go back and she vacate them titles after getting that division, I'm telling you now, man, yep, I, I, I got to give it to her. So I hope that, you know, she plan on defending the title at least twice. At least two times defending the title. And then after that, you know what? If you're tired of getting in the cage, forget it. Don't go no more. You don't already prove. You look, you're the best fighter. You're the best women's MMA fighter on the planet. Okay. What else does there need to prove? But I think, you know, Megan Anderson need to get that work. I think Megan Anderson, before Chris get out of Dodge, Megan Anderson need to get that work. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.